Lying here on this moonlight night, I think back about my life on this earth. I was a pioneer. I fought Mexicans, Indians, bandits, and the elements. Surviving running gun battles, a murderous Mexican prison, and many an environmental hardship. This is my story of survival on the wild Texas frontier. My exploits earned me the status of a folk hero. So much so that when I died, they moved my body to the state cemetery in Austin, Texas. Back in 1817 is about when I was born on my parents' farm in Virginia. I was named William Alexander Anderson Wallace. In later years, though, most people call me Bigfoot, which is a story in itself. <clears throat> we were a family with Celtic origin, which includes the Scots William Wallace and Robert Bruce. In 1836, when I heard that my brother and a cousin had been murdered at the Goliad Massacre, I headed to Texas to take out revenge against the Mexicans. I was tall for the times, six foot two inches, 240 pounds of lean muscle. Not long after being in Texas, I was captured by Indians, but later escaped. In 1839, I moved to Austin, but you know, I, I found that place way too crowded and relocated to San Antonio. There, I volunteered for the Somerville and Mir Texas military expeditions, resulting in me spending two years in a Mexican prison. Upon returning, I joined the Texas Rangers under the fearless Jack Hayes, who was eventually made captain of my own Ranger company. We fought Indians and bandits, and I gained notoriety as an expert tracker. During the war between the states, I stayed in Texas and spent most of my time protecting the state from bandits and Comanche Indians. During my many years in the wilds of Texas, I had hundreds of adventures. Once Indians attacked me while I was working as a stage driver on the hazardous San Antonio El Paso route. I escaped with my life, but the natives stole my mules, leaving me stranded in the Texas desert. I was forced to walk to El Paso. I remember eating 27 eggs at the first house I encountered after my long journey. Then I went to town to have me a real meal. When my fighting days were over, I retired to a small community in Frio County, Texas, which was later, in my honor, named Bigfoot. I was known as a storyteller, and boy, did I have stories to tell. After all, I lived a life of hardship and adventure on the dangerous Texas frontier. I died on January the 7th, 1899, and shortly after, the state of Texas moved my body from Frio County to the Texas State Cemetery in Austin to lay alongside the likes of Stephen F. Austin, Albert Sidney Johnston, and many other Texas Rangers and Pioneers. To pay your respects to me, cross over the serene shaded pond, walk up the grassy hill, and you will find me resting in the afternoon shadow of the monument to the great Stephen Austin. I am proud to be keeping such good company.